Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Appreciate the good things you have. Appreciate the good things you have. You know what, being in the position I'm in, I'm... I get a lot of people who contact me privately, uh, friends, everything. And since I tend to be a sympathetic ear, I get a lot of people complaining, complaining about what they don't have in their lives. You know, I get dudes complaining that attractive women aren't finding them attractive or coming on to them or something like that. You know, I get women complaining that some dudes aren't checking them out or some dudes don't like them. Or, you know, I get people complaining about what jobs they don't have or complaining about where they're living. And, you know, to them, this is the worst thing on the planet. And I always tell people. I always tell people, it's like, okay, yeah, you don't have it, but this is how you get out of that. Get out of that thought. Count every little blessing that you have. Because regardless of what you think you don't have, you got something that people, some people around the planet might not have. You know? I mean, if you complaining that some beauty queen or that some like highly successful man isn't showing you any interest. Well, maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe it's good that, you know what, be thankful somebody is feeling you. Maybe they're not a beauty queen or maybe, you know, they're not balling out of control. But, you know, be thankful that somebody actually gives a shit about you. Right. Be thankful or be thankful for what you do have. Or if you don't like your job situation, think about you have a job in the United States. You have 100 million people without work or they under underemployed. Shoot. If you have a nine to five job that you can get money on, it's consistent and you feel like you'll be on there a while. There's a lot of people who are killed to be in your position. Or if you don't like your living arrangements because, you know, instead of a five-bedroom house, you got a three-bedroom house that's a little cramped in there. Well, you know what? Across this country, indeed across the world, you got people who are growing up in tents. And there was people who were probably killed to be in your cramped little space. Who would love it. You know what? They have central air. If you got central air, if you got heat... (laughs) <laughs> you you be thankful. Be be thankful for that. Cause there's some people running water, an indoor toilet. You be thankful for it. Appreciate appreciate that. Because there's somebody. Yeah, you want better. Okay, fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting better. Understand. There's nothing wrong with wanting an attractive person. There's nothing wrong with wanting better living conditions. There's nothing wrong with wanting a better job. Right. You don't want to settle then. I, you know, I would never recommend settling there. But at the same time, at the same time, you got to appreciate uh, that you have it while you do. You know, you got to be comfortable with it because I, 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 I've got too many people who want to talk about who want to treat these things like it's the end of the world. And I'm just like, no. No. You know, you got kids out here eating off the street. You know, you got whole families destitute. You got people out here suffering. But you worried about some things that, you know what, you still in a good position. You know, some people wish they had a car. You got some people wish they had a car just to sleep in. You know, and I think that's a problem in society now. Everybody, you know what, it's like you got too many people. You got a whole bunch of people looking at the 1%, these billionaires and stuff. Oh, we don't have the same wealth they have. Well, maybe you don't need the same wealth they have. Is that stopping you from living or appreciating what you have? 
you know? You know, I met a dude. I remember I met a um, older gentleman when I was in Puerto Rico. Uh, shit, nearly 25 years ago, right? And this dude was actually upper middle class, but he lived kind of simply. He didn't. He didn't have a big mansion or anything, big old house. But he owned property. He owned plenty of property. And I remember. I remember something, I, and I, it always stuck with me because I remember he had a trailer that was by a fishing village in uh, Puerto Rico. He had a trailer. He had a boat, and I remember, you know, staying in the trailer because uh, it was. Um, I was down there to visit a friend of mine from college, right? And you know, I'm hanging out with her, hanging out with her father. Her father was just fascinating, and it was amazing just how he was just thankful. He had a lot. But I remember how he was just chilling in that little trailer. Now, of course, yeah, you could say, yeah, he owned some other stuff. But he was just like, I don't know. He said he don't need a $250 water faucet to enjoy life. You could tell this is the type of dude. Yeah, he worked hard and successful. But he enjoyed, he appreciated everything he had. You know? You know, he had his boat. He, he just worked hard for his stuff. But he appreciated the simple things. Because one of the things he did, he, he kind of took us, he took, kind of took me on a tour of uh, <laughs> some of the seedier places in Puerto Rico. Because the dude came from, he came from, lack of a better term, he, con- he came from the hood. <laughs> but he had just appreciated everything he had. See, here's the thing. Whatever you got, take care of it. Appreciate it. And then that's when, that's when... You can build on that. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. And as y'all know, I don't promote a particular religious path. But I'll say this. If you got that little bit and can't take care of it, why would God give you more? You're not taking care of what you got right there. I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to think about that for a second. You know, you get some men and women, they want like the drop dead gorgeous mate, but then don't want to take care of the mate that they got right there. They don't want to do right by them. It ain't saying you got to marry them or anything, but at least be nice to them, treat them well, treat them the best. Because then if you get something better, what would you do with that person? Because you're treating what you have, you're not appreciating the person you got there. So why, 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 why would... God or whatever you want to call your supreme being, put another person there for you to mess up if you can't take care of what you got. Or to get, you get people who get nice uh, cars, homes, they don't take care of it. But then they want, you know, they want something better. It was like, well, why would, why would you get something better? What are you going to do with it? You just going to tear it up to, you know, you're not taking care of what you have there. So why would you be, why should you get better? But if you can find a way, say, look, this is what I got right now. I'm going to still do better. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with one more. That's normal. But you get people going through major depression and problems because they don't have it. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. You can change your drawers every day. You got clothes. You got, you can eat every day. Shoot. If you can drink some, like, clean water, you got parts of the world where they don't take water for granted. You know? You know, you got parts in the United States. Like, most of my customers, most of the people listening to this live in the United States. You know? Most of the people live in the United States. And I remember what a woman told me because it's starting to get cold out. If you drive, if you drive, you start driving now because of... The uh, leaves are falling off the trees. You'll start seeing more tent cities and more homeless people. Because, like, during the summer when you had the foliage up, they can hide themselves in the woods better. But once that stuff comes down, all of a sudden you're saying, oh, there's a whole lot more. You got whole communities out there. And I guarantee every single person, every single person in one of those communities wish they had wish they had like a, maybe a small basement apartment or something like that wish they you know if they go and come in their place it gets cold they don't have to put on a layer of clothing or anything but uh just turn on the heat you know and then sit down you got people it's like or you know just be able to like if you want to relax turn on your tv and stuff 
You know, you got people living in a house that they might own. But because for whatever reason, they might be able to keep up the mortgage payments or if they are lucky. The house might be paid off, but they can't afford to pay the electric bill. You know, and they if they lucky, they might have a fireplace in there to stay warm. And there are people doing that. <laughs> people look, whatever you got, whatever you got, right? A lot of times, and like I say, the people contacting me got if they contacting me and communicating with me, and if I'm not communicating with them directly, looking them in the eye. That means they're communicating with me using, like, a uh, smartphone or something. And I remember years ago somebody said that on a message board. Uh, there was a bunch of people complaining about this and that, and this one dude gave it on there and said, look, every single one of y'all got a computer, or you wouldn't be on here. This was before smartphones, right? This was before smartphones, and this was before, this was even before um, you could find a bunch of computers in libraries. And this dude said it. He said, look, y'all complaining and I got bitching and stuff. But every single one of y'all got a computer or you wouldn't be here. So you should be thankful. So appreciate the good things you have. Appreciate it. Yeah, you want more. That's cool to want more. But why you have it and why you building for it towards more, appreciate it. You know, I appreciate I have, I can pipe in the jazz station right now, you know. Or if I want, I can sit down on a plush couch and fall asleep. Or I got a regular bed. You know? I appreciate it. All right? Because there was one time, you know, there was one time probably, you know, didn't really have that. Or one time when I'm sleeping on a, like, nice plush bed, I was sleeping on an air mattress. (laughs) Appreciate the good things you have. All right? Really do. No matter where you at, appreciate it. Shoot, you can always build from it. So and find the find the appreciation. So anyway, right? That's it for now. I'll get back with you later. Peace.